guys, um, it's been a while, uh, I finally decided to make a video, uh, four days, and Bridget will be here, so I will have, in maybe four or five days, depending on how I feel after the surgery, I will try to do a live from the hospital room, <laughs> so you can see how pale and crappy looking I look. Uh, <laughs> and you'll get to see the baby, too. But until then, I'm still doing my daily regimen, as you can see. See all those? Those are test strips and needles for my blood. Because I have to give myself insulin shots now. Until, well, hopefully it's just until the baby comes. Hopefully. Um, otherwise, excuse me, excuse everything, I won't be able to stand it afterwards. But, to give you an idea how big I am right now, I can do a side profile. Let's see. Look at this. Look at this, guys. All baby belly. <laughs> um... And I was teasing my husband the other day, and I walked up and I did side profile to him, and I started going dun da 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 da. For those of you who don't know, that is the theme song to Alfred Hitchcock, and at the moment I feel as big as Alfred Hitchcock, <laughs> and he was not a small man. Um, as I sit here, do my nails a little. Uh, I had press on nails on for a couple days and I just decided to take them off today since I will be going into the hospital and I'm not sure what their policy is on those nails. So I'm going to fix my nails up a little. But um, that's what's going on. Got uh, the crib up. We've got a playpen, we've got a stroller, we've got the car seat, um, got some cute clothes, got a bunch of stuff. I just got my, um, backpack, uh, baby, baby, um, diaper bag. Why couldn't I think of diaper bag? Man, this mommy brain is just, ah, but yeah. Mommy brain aside, I feel like I'm going to explode because I am so big. Um, it's ridiculous. Uh, when you're, you when you have gesta gestational diabetes, the baby usually turns out to be a little bigger than normal. So I'm gonna have a little bit of a big baby here. Not sure how big, but she's gonna be big. Excuse me as I fix my nail. I broke my nail. I am so unhappy with that. Oh well. <laughs> but um, since I don't know the policy on nails going into the delivery room and everything, because obviously press on nails you can get um, bacteria and stuff under, and I want to keep my nails mostly clean for that. Um, I actually went and bought this new nail polish that I saw. It's called, I want to say Koki Professional and it's sparkly and I'm going to put that on and hopefully that, um, they'll let me keep it on. It's called Celestial, but that's what the bottle looks like. There's a little, little elephant on it. So, but, um, we'll see, we'll see if they let me keep that on. <laughs> if you see me next time and I don't have it on, you'll know why. Um, in the background, if you hear the meowing, that would be Scorch. Uh, Scorch is in his time at the moment, wanting a female, and he's trying his darndest to get out. He has slipped out doors. He has figured out how to open doors. He opens the screen doors. Um, he dug at our screen door up, up 
on this floor until he popped it open and leaned into it and popped it open, which, uh, trying to catch him. He scratched Arthur so bad, Arthur had to go to Children's Hospital and get antibiotics to um, get rid of a inf an infection in his hand, which looked horrible. He had he got, got the scratch right here on his knuckle, and all the way back here, this whole area was swollen, and all up his finger was swollen, and um, had to go and. It was his first overnight at a hospital. He was not happy. Um, it was his first ambulance ride, which he was actually very intrigued by, which maybe, maybe we get a future EMT on our hands. That is if he can ever decide he isn't going to get sick at the sight of blood. Of course, I do have a friend who um, ended up in the military in the medical units and she was a nurse and she actually got over her fear of blood which was awesome which I'm proud of her go Beth um you hear this this is day and night folks this meowing day and night it's non-stop he is so wanting that female out there and I don't know if he's been with her or not so I haven't even seen her, so if she comes up and has kittens on our porch, I might be taking one of the kittens, but speaking of kittens, I'm still looking for a black kitty cat because I totally miss my black kitty cat. I miss Shadow, and I would love to have another black kitty cat running around here. I've got Soldier running around here. He just got flea, flea medicine the other day. Of course, he's sleeping over in the sun right now. Um, he, uh, since he got his flea medicine, he seems to be feeling really good, and he is very happy and very loving, and if I drape my arm over the couch when he's awake, he comes over and, like, loves on my arm big time. He's, like, rubbing up against me and purring and not his normal, usual self, because usually he jumps up on me and claws me and stuff. Or he digs his claws into me. I don't. He doesn't really claw me, claw me. But. Weird. He's weird when he, when he doesn't have his medicine. Um, but my day is. Let me tell you how my day goes right now. Since I know I haven't been on in a while. And I should probably explain why I haven't been on in a while. Because it's. My day is really hard right now. Um, when I wake up in the morning. I have to pop this little baby out. It has a This is the this is what I use to check my blood sugar on. When I go to check my blood sugar, I put a test strip in here, a needle in here, which this thing part pops off and the needle goes in here. I push the button, the needle jabs me in the finger. And it brings out a little bit of blood. And I have to put that little bit of blood on this line in the test strip to read my blood sugar. Which, my blood sugar, truthfully, is all over the place. And as soon as I'm done here, I'm going to have lunch. But I have to do this once in the morning. In the early morning after I wake up. Once after breakfast, after, like two hours after breakfast because I have to eat. And I have to take my insulin, which comes in this. So you can see that cloudy stuff in there. That's insulin. I have to put the gauge on 8. Get myself a shot of this. And then I have this one. This is, this is the long acting. This is the short term. This one I put 5 in. As you can see, the clear stuff in there is insulin. And the needle goes... See where that is? The needle clips into that part. It's only like a teeny, teeny little needle. And um, I have to give myself a shot of those. And then two hours after I do that, I have to take my, check my blood. Then I have to eat lunch when I eat lunch. And then I have to check my blood two hours after that. And then I eat dinner later. 
Two hours after that, I have to check my blood. Then I take my insulin before bed, and I have to check my blood before bed, but I haven't been very good at that lately. Um, not the, the blood before bed part. It's been a little, little off, because I'm still trying to get used to the routine of all this stuff. But then on Monday, as far as I know, I'm going to be having a baby, and this will be all over, so. Who knows? But, anyway. Well, I'm, wow, I'm actually over ten minutes. Didn't think I talked that long. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm going to open my box here with the diaper bags in it. I'm going to go through the clothes and stuff, and I've got a busy day. So, I will talk to y'all later. Bye. Mwah.